Welcome to Winter Nam 2021. We're excited to have you here with us. While disappointed we can't visit in person, we're glad to show you what breed love is all about. Guitars are our absolute pride and joy, the passion in our lives. It's in our DNA across the line. Let's get started. Well, good day, everybody. We are here behind the scenes in beautiful Bend, Oregon at the custom shop for Breed Love. This is Angela Christensen. She's a designer of all these beautiful guitars. Ange, how are you? Doing great. Thank you. And we've got Mr. Eric here, production manager. How's it going, folks? We are going to dig into a really cool topic this morning. We're going to talk about the Breed Love revolutionary body shapes. This is a, we get a lot of questions about the Breedlove body shapes, and so we're really excited to kind of showcase these. We're going to dive right in. We're going to start off with the concert body shape. This is where it all began in the 90s with Breedlove. That's right. Eric, tell us a little bit about this. So, body with shape. the concert, like you were saying, this is where all our body shapes kind of started. This is our definitely our most versatile body shape for not just uh, strumming, but finger stylus kind of stuff as well. Uh, standard 14 fret to the body, four inch sound hole right here. Um, got an asymmetrical headstock, our signature asymmetrical headstock up here. Uh, and we use this body shape to kind of base a lot of these other ones off of as well. So we'll talk a bit about more about that with the other ones. Yeah, so we developed this concert body shape, highly versatile, great for strumming, great for finger style, very, very comfortable to play and to hold. And from there, Ange, what was the next body shape that we developed? Well, we decided to go after a larger body shape um, to replace a dreadnought in our production. And so we went with the concerto. This is our largest um, body that measures at four inches at the neck, and it tapers all the way to five inches at the tail block. So we've taken the shape of our concert basically blown it up. So we've got the comfortable uh, waist in the concerto, but we still have a nice big lower bout with a lot of air chamber space for us to develop the notes and create a little more blossoming sound. Let's show people that taper and let's turn this sideways because this is really cool. So you said four inches yeah. up here. So four inches here. And then all the way down. To five inches at the tail block. Okay. And in the development, um, like I said, we were trying to replace a dreadnought body shape with something a little more ergonomic, but that's not gonna sacrifice that power and that punch that you're expecting out of a dreadnought. Um, so in the developing of this, we, um, as spoke to the air chamber space, to also um, control how the air is coming out, we've, um, change the spec of the sound hole. We've shrunk the sound hole down to three and three quarter inches oh, okay. versus the four inch diameter on the concert. So smaller sound hole. Smaller sound hole. And that's helping us to kind of restrict the airflow a little bit. And so we're forcing that, um, the energy to build within the body a little bit more, which creates a little more dynamic range um, than you would get out of a typical dreadnought. That's super cool. And for folks that are joining us, you can learn a little bit more about the engineering of this if you watch our sound optimization video. It really dives into that process and explains what we're doing uh, from a science standpoint to really understand these the R&D behind developing these body shapes. So we've got the concert, which is your most versatile, then we developed the concerto, which is larger, would replace a dreadnought, big and boomy, right? but great sound. Right, and I would like to just mention a couple different um, features too. So we spoke to the asymmetrical headstock that is signature on our concert body. Sure. With the concerto, we wanted to um, kind of speak for a little more traditional crowd, and we have our wave headstock featured on this body shape. Sure. That's the wave, that's the asymmetrical. 
And so they both different. have a 25 and a half scale length, 14 fret to body. Okay, okay, very cool. And folks, we're gonna play all these. We have Mr. Luke Basil, all the way from the Rainmaker Studios in Washington. We're gonna play all these as well when we're done. So you can hear the difference. So we developed the larger body, the concerto, after the concert. What was the next body shape that was developed? So from there, we decided to go towards a parlor-like design. Okay. And so this is our concertina. And we have a 12 fret to body design okay. with a 25 inch scale length on this model. I see we've got a wave headstock on this one again. We do okay. have the wave headstock. And then we've um, decreased the air chamber size a little bit here to focus the sound a little more intimate. Um, but it packs a punch. This guitar is surprising when it comes to the amount of volume you get out of it. Okay. Um, it's kind of our secret weapon. I like so. it. So let's, let's take a look at the side profile on this thing too. And okay, then, I see that taper you're talking about. So the measurement on this one is going to be three and a quarter mm -hmm. down to um, four inch at the tail block. Four and a quarter? It's not on there. So you've oh. got... So you've got so you've got a taper there. Should be. It's a three and a quarter to a four inch at the tail block. Okay, and so you've got that taper, focusing that sound, building it up so it can project through that sound hole. And then to mention the sound hole diameter on this um, was specific to this body shape. It measures three and seven eighths. Okay, three and seven eighths. So we developed, we started with the concert, the most versatile shape develop the bigger concerto mm -hmm. to replace a traditional dreadnought in size. Then to the concertina That's to right. replace a traditional parlor. And then what was the final iteration of the design process? Final one over here we call the companion body shape. So this is Breedlove's travel ready guitar, right? Ooh, this is great. Very tiny looking, but it doesn't really sacrifice a whole lot in terms of playability or anything like that. Very similar to the concert in terms of, uh, you know, the headstock is an ASIM again. Sure. It's got it's 14 frets to the body still on this companion guitar. Um, and it's, you know, just meant to be able to bring around and take with you wherever you go, you know. Yeah, and I like the fact that, you know, for guitar players that travel, they know that it's, it's a challenge. If you're getting on an airplane, yeah. if you're getting on a train, a bus, whatever it is, right. tough to travel with a bigger guitar. So I think a lot of people end up sacrificing or compromising on sound mm -hmm. or playability for a smaller guitar. This guitar, are, are you compromising or is this, is this a real guitar? It is, I mean, it is just a smaller version of this concert. They're, you're not compromising this thing in my opinion, no. I love it, I love it. And just great to curl up on the couch. I mean, you don't even, yeah, even exactly. if you're not traveling, this is a great guitar to curl up with. And if you're learning, if yeah, you're, exactly. Uh, if you, right. you know, if you have kids, yeah, for they're looking for a small guitar or something mm -hmm. like that. It's a perfect instrument for someone to start on as well. That's super cool. Well, one thing that's super fun is you guys have selected one of each body shape in the exact same tone wood combination. Right. So these are all mahogany, and we can now hear these and because of the same tone wood. We're really going to hear the difference in the actual body shape. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Cool. Well, let's check them out. Well, Where why do you don't we start? start with the concert? This sure. is where everything originated from. Okay. So very versatile, really good for strumming, really good for finger style. Just a really great, if, you have, if, you, if you're gonna pick one guitar. That's right. This is a great one to start with. Sure. Kind of play all the same pieces on all these guitars so we can kind of A, B, different mm -hmm. sounds. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. That's a great sounding body shape. Absolutely. All right, so that is the concert, our more, most versatile shape. Okay. And then I think we should go to the concerto. Okay. So we can mm -hmm. hear the next 
will step up to the concerto, which is the largest of the body shapes, would replace a traditional dreadnought with its size. You know, that's great. You could you could hear right out of the gate a lot more projection coming out of that guitar. Totally. Mm. But still a lot of nuanced sound, you know, not yeah. just this big wave of overpowering right. sound, but yeah. that's great. That's super cool. Okay, so then let's go with the concertina. So this is our parlor-like body shape. Quite a bit smaller. It is. That's a beautiful guitar. It a lot of sure sound is. A lot of sound out of it. You know, I kind of expected that guitar to be a lot quieter and, and maybe not have as much projection, not as much volume. And I was wrong. You were wrong. <laughs> <Spot out. laughs> there, was a, there was a lot coming out of that guitar. It's surprising. All That's right. great. So last but not least, our travel size companion. That's a great sounding guitar too. Totally. Mm -hmm. Now Luke, you're a performer, you are a studio engineer, you do a lot of work uh, in the studio. Is this guitar something you can, can you utilize in a professional application? Yeah, ab absolutely. This is gonna, this is gonna sound great on a record if you want. It's also gonna sound great live. All these guitars have a built-in pickup system. They're ready to go live if you want as well, so. Great point. Yeah. These guitars, we should mention too, so all of these guitars you're looking at here, this is part of the organic collection from Breed Love. And these are all solid, fully sustainable guitars. These are all made out of mahogany, but the organic collection has a number of different tone wood combinations. We're actually gonna do a video on the organics, so we can dive into that more if you'd like to learn about it. But this has been a really cool look at these body shapes, so that is the companion the smallest of the breed love guitars stepping up we would have the concertina then our very versatile concert and the concerto so the whole family of revolutionary breed love body shapes right here great to see them all together you know and they all they all look like they they are of the same family and they have a, a really just they have a really inviting look. Uh, they look like they're really comfortable and they just fit in your lap. They are that. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. well, thank you guys so much for taking some time to chat with us. We really appreciate it. And Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have a good day. <laughs>